Hi, I'm Danielle from Tract. I'm going to be presenting the draft of Polo Bay Harbour Development Plan on behalf of Colac Polway Shire Council. We are about to begin a six week public engagement process where the draft development plan will be posted on Council's website. Council are inviting you to review the plan and provide your comments. The release of the draft development plan marks a major milestone for the Harbour Precinct and Apollo Bay. The draft plan builds on significant engagement with the community and key stakeholders conducted in 2019 and 2020, and has been informed by a number of technical studies. It also builds on a range of ideas and concepts previously developed for the site. This presentation will provide an overview of the key features of the draft plan and provide more details on how you can have your say. If you want to find out more about any of the background material and previous consultation feedback, please refer to the full Draft Apollo Bay Harbour Development Plan report, which can be viewed on Council's website. The Apollo Bay Harbour is an important and iconic place, not only for the community of Apollo Bay, but also the Great Ocean Road region. It is a key state-owned asset contributing significantly to Victoria's economy. As one of just three safe blue havens in Victoria, the harbour is identified in the planning scheme as a key opportunity to deliver economic benefits to the Shire and promote Apollo Bay as a tourist destination. Colac Otway Shire is a designated port manager for the harbour and is responsible for its management, operations and maintenance. The redevelopment and improvement of the harbour has been a long-term goal for Council and the community. It will provide a major boating, recreational and visitor destination for Apollo Bay and the region, whilst protecting the landscape, environment, heritage and authenticity of the harbour, which is highly valued. Before we dive into the detail, I am going to provide a quick overview of what a development plan is and why it is needed for the harbour. A development plan is a planning tool that provides a vision and strategic guidance for the future development of an area to ensure that it is well coordinated and orderly. It ensures that all issues, concerns and opportunities are considered together before any redevelopment occurs. The Colac Otway Shire Planning Scheme requires a development plan to be prepared for the Harbour Precinct. Without an approved development plan, Council cannot consider any development proposals within the Harbour Precinct. The development plan will guide the development of the Harbour over the next 20 to 30 years. It will support a business case and an expression of interest process for private investment in the Harbour. The study area for the development plan is defined by the Special Use Zone and is outlined on the image in red. I am now going to provide you with an overview of the draft development plan and then step through some of the key outcomes for the central area of the harbour and Point Bunbury. This slide shows the proposed changes to the harbour development plan area outlined in red as well as walking and cycling connections to Apollo Bay and Marengo and improvements to surrounding streets. The plan proposes streetscape upgrades to Nelson Street and Trafalgar Street. This will include new shared pedestrian and cycle paths and additional on-street car parking to support future uses in the harbour area. In addition, improvements proposed along Breakwater Road will allow for two-way vehicle movement south of the Fisherman's Co-op building. This will make it easier and safer for vehicles to move throughout the precinct. This slide outlines the key outcomes proposed in the central area of the harbour. The central area incorporates the Mother's Beach car park, the Fisherman's Co-op, existing port operations areas, and parts of the vegetated hillside heading back towards the Sailing Club. The key outcomes for this area include the creation of an exciting public promenade along the water's edge. This will be located along the lower terrace of the site where the Port Operations buildings currently sit. These buildings will be replaced with new buildings that are set into the hillside providing for uses such as 
cafes, retail, tourist operators and a potential Aboriginal and cultural centre. Bicycle parking will be provided near commercial tenancies to allow visitors to cycle from Apollo Bay, Skeens Creek or Marengo. The draft plan provides for the redevelopment and expansion of the Fisherman's Co-op, which will activate a new public space on the upper terrace. The plan allows for the expansion of the Fish and Chip Cafe and additional uses including a restaurant and outdoor dining. To accommodate these new uses, an additional level of development will be provided on the existing building, which will allow for expansive views back to Apollo Bay and along the coastline. The upper terrace public space and outdoor dining area will be generous in size and offer expansive views. This public space will extend over top of the buildings on the lower terrace to maximise its area. The plan allows for temporary commercial uses and markets to set up and activate the eastern corner of the upper terrace. This will help draw people between the upper and lower terraces of the harbour. The redevelopment of the Fisherman's Co-op will also provide for the reconfiguration of the existing car park to the east of the building. It will also remove vehicle access along the front of the building where it overlooks the harbour. The plan recognises the importance of existing Aboriginal heritage within the precinct. It will provide for the protection of the Aboriginal well site and support its sensitive integration into future development if discovered during works. In order to create the waterfront promenade and lower terrace buildings, the Port Operations Depot has been relocated to where the Mother's Beach car park is currently located. It has support from the golf club. The new facility will be purpose built and provide additional building and yard space for the Port Operations to occur. It will provide for a new Harbour Master's Office located on the upper level. This will allow for greater visibility of the harbour. Garage space, a workshop and storage space will be located on the ground floor of the new building. The diesel tank will be relocated to the inner breakwater in a convenient location for vehicles to access. Its relocation will allow for additional parking at the Mother's Beach car park. Additional changes in this area will provide for a formalised Mother's Beach car park with landscaping and screening to the Port Operations Depot. This will make it clearer for vehicles and pedestrians when arriving at the harbour. Additional parking will also be provided to users of the slipway, whilst retaining the ability for loading and unloading in this area. In order to allow for the new Port Operations Depot, the golf course maintenance shed and outdoor supplies area will be relocated. This location will not impact on any holes. The plan recognises the importance of providing adequate public amenities for the expected increase in visitors. New public toilets and changing rooms will be located under the Port Operations Depot building in a convenient location for all to access. Public toilets and changing rooms will also be provided for port users within the redeveloped Port Operations building. These amenities will be accessed from the depot area via a key or PIN code. Key to the success of the precinct is continuous pedestrian access between the town centre, the harbour and Point Bunbury. The plan provides for a waterfront promenade on the lower terrace and a new boardwalk along the water's edge connecting to the sailing club and breakwaters. The potential for a boardwalk on the beach side of the dunes at Mother's Beach has also been proposed. The potential for this boardwalk is being considered as part of investigations into future coastal protection works that may involve the installation of a sand shifting pipeline along the dunes. Access points between the upper and lower terraces, including a central stairway, will be provided. A ramp at the eastern end of the waterfront promenade will allow for all abilities access to the upper terrace. The plan provides for a range of new and exciting public spaces that will provide diverse experiences and vistas. 
The connections to Point Brunmary, Mother's Beach and the wharf will encourage visitors to explore the precinct. As outlined earlier in this presentation, streetscape improvements along Nelson Street and Trafalgar Street are proposed as part of the development plan. This will include a new path along the golf course edge with protection provided from golf balls, completion of the footpath in front of residential homes and formalised car parking along both sides of the street. This will improve pedestrian access to the harbour and allow for additional parking within close proximity of the new uses. Improved vehicle access to Point Bunbury and the launching ramp is proposed. Upgrades to Breakwater Road and Nelson Street will allow for safer two-way vehicle movement, particularly south of the Fisherman's Co-op building. Consistent and cohesive signage will be provided across the precinct, making it easier for new visitors to discover all the destinations within the harbour. This slide outlines the key outcomes proposed for Point Bunbury. The changes in this area are not as significant as the central area of the harbour, but important to improve Point Bunbury as a key destination for people. The plan supports an improved and potentially expanded sailing club facility located in its current position. The new facility will include club rooms, race control facilities, toilets, boat storage and storage space, roll-in access to the harbour beach, and grass surrounds for small craft lie down. The building will be integrated into the hillside to minimise its visibility. Beach access will be enhanced in a number of locations. New public toilets and changing rooms will be provided in a convenient location. A pedestrian crossing will be provided, allowing for clear and safe access between the foreshore and public toilets. The plan supports the provision of a new ocean rescue boat ship. This location is within close proximity to the boat ramp. Additional boat trailer parking, disabled and car parking spaces will also be provided. The plan also identifies the opportunity to provide new berths along the inner breakwater, with the long-term opportunity for additional berths along the eastern breakwater. This will be subject to improvements to the breakwaters. The following slides provide 3D artist impressions to demonstrate the key outcomes of the development plan. The buildings and landscaping shown in these images are indicative only. The buildings show the potential maximum building envelope within which a building may be designed. It does not represent a designed outcome. The green building represents the existing Fisherman's Co-op building. This first view is an elevated view looking from the west. It shows the relationship between the restaurant and the Fisherman's Co-op building on the upper terrace, commercial tenancies on the lower terrace, and the waterfront promenade. A second story is proposed for the Fisherman's Co-op, but this will only be slightly higher than the current building. Expansion of the Fisherman's Co-op building envelope will occur on the north and western sides only. The relocated port operations office, as well as the enhanced Mother's Beach car park, are visible in the background of this view. This view is taken from the upper terrace looking northwest. The upper terrace is designed to provide a unique perspective with expansive views of the harbour, Apollo Bay and the coastline. It will be a flexible multi-purpose public space that will function in both day and night and for special events. The space along with the new Fisherman's Co-op will be a key destination within Apollo Bay. This view is taken from the future waterfront promenade looking southeast towards the future restaurant and Fisherman's Cooperative building. The relocation of the Port Operations Depot allows for public access along the harbour's edge and the creation of a new waterfront promenade. The waterfront promenade will provide the opportunity for people to get close to the water's edge and access the new cafes, retail and commercial uses. This view captures the central staircase leading to the upper terrace and the Fisherman's Cooperative building. The waterfront promenade will be connected to the upper terrace via two sets of stairs, west and central, 
and a ramp to the east. The central steps will be generous and will provide another form of seating for people and a distinctive feature of the space. This is an elevated view from the Dunes New Mothers Beach car park, looking southeast. The Port Operations building is located on the right hand side of the image. The Port Operations, including the Harbour Office, Depot buildings and yard facilities, are an integral part of the Harbour Precinct and provide an important role in ensuring the safety of boaters along Victoria's coastline. Their relocation, as shown in this image, will allow for expanded facilities and allow for the creation of the waterfront promenade. This view is from Mother's Beach car park, looking south. The access road between the Breakwater Road and the inner Breakwater is proposed to be a shared space for pedestrians and cars. This will provide a unique pedestrian friendly space that allows for safe pedestrian access between the foreshore, car parking areas and the central harbour area. That concludes the overview of the draft Apollo Bay Harbour Development Plan. As mentioned at the start of this presentation, the draft plan is now open for public comment and we would love to hear your feedback. Please visit Colac Otway Shire Council's website to view the draft plan and find out how to make a submission. Submissions close Sunday the 18th of October 2020. Given the evolving nature of COVID-19 restrictions, current advice about how to make a submission and attend engagement activities will be included on Council's website. Alternatively, please call or email Council on 5232-9400 or inc at colacoltway.vic.gov.au and mention the Apollo Bay Harbour Development Plan. Thank you for your participation. We look forward to receiving your feedback.